So some other things to keep in mind when you're writing your ad copy. Make sure that it's relevant to what the user is looking for. In this case, when we're talking about Nike and Nike football cleats, obviously people are searching for these keywords, these search terms. Uh, they're ready to buy. Um, so we want to make sure that the relevance is high. When people are looking for Nike Alpha football cleats, they're finding Nike Alpha football cleats, and our ads say Nike Alpha football cleats in there. Another thing is to fulfill customer needs and give yourself a competitive edge. Again, free shipping and easy returns. Highlight on what makes you special and what makes you stand out. In addition, Test different components when you ha create ads. Try different uh, language. Um, use different USPs and, and, and try some different things out. All right. Uh, Keep ads fresh and use time-sensitive copy. Be specific and use exacts when appropriate. And speak to the individual versus the group. Get personal, okay? Get creative with your And always have a good call to action. Always A-B test, okay? And A-B testing ads is, is really easy in Google AdWords. Google AdWords, you can load two ads and it will automatically test the ads against each other. And what will happen is the ad that gets more clicks will show more often. So it's almost like an in, it's an automatic uh, competition system built in the AdWords thing. Finally, remember we were talking about relevance and making sure that you're relevant to the searcher? Well, this is indeed called this is indeed called quality score. And quality score grades how relevant your advertisements and landing page are to your keywords. Quality score is often one of the most difficult concepts to understand. Basically, it's a rating scale of 1 to 10 with all these different things in here. Your relevance to your keywords to your ads, how relevant your ad is to the search query, the landing page quality, your account history, and your historical click-through rate all equal a quality score of 1 to 10. And that number is then multiplied by how much you're willing to spend to determine where you rank on the page. So, for instance, if somebody's bidding five dollars and you have an ad, uh, you have a quality score of two, your ad rank is ten. However, if somebody's bidding four dollars and they have a quality score of eight, their ad rank is thirty-two, a lot more than yours, even though they're bidding a dollar less than you. So, it's important to keep in mind that quality score is super important um, especially when it comes to competing against other bits because Google takes that into consideration when awarding the spots. Now remember we talked about uh, the ad up here having ad extensions and these are the uh, dates of, of the actual game coming up here this A plus accredited business, the amenities these are called ad extensions, and ad extensions are a fairly new tool that Google rolled out that you can feature some pretty cool things. Some of the things that you can do is feature your location. So, for instance, if you're trying to uh, advertise a brick and mortar shop, you can have the that you can have the address to your location right there. In addition, you can have call-out extensions where you can put some of the things that make you different to your USPs. So you can have free shipping, 24-7 customer service, price matching, things like that. In addition, you can have review extensions from your Google Places page so you can feature your uh, customers' uh, glowing reviews about your business. You can have structured snippets, and structured snippets are a little weird because it only is based on a few different things like amenity, style, sizes, uh, certain, uh, certain attributes of your product or service can be featured here and only a certain one. 
Um, site links are another type of ad extensions, basically featuring different sites on your website. So not only can you feature your landing page where your shoes are, but you can also feature different landing pages um, in that same ad per, to perhaps um, try to upsell other things. So in this case, our Nike ad here, some of the site links that we might show on the bottom of this ad is um, get your football gloves, your footballs, um, your jerseys, and your equipment uh, may all be uh, links underneath this ad. That way, when it when a football player click, searches for football cliques, he not only finds with football cliques, but he also has four options to um, to buy accessories and other products. So it's a good way to uh, sell additional things. Finally, it's always important to track your performance with AdWords. And AdWords is really easy to track as far as, um, as, far as an in a dashboard with, uh, with all your metrics right there. Some of the uh, metrics that you're going to want to track is cost per conversion. How much are you paying for a sale, a phone call, a, a submission, a download? What is the conversion rate? meaning how many clicks do you send with your ad and then how many sales do you make off of that ad and that's described in a percentage that conversion rate percentage and then also the total number of conversions the number of transactions phone calls and submissions so these are important metrics that you must measure when using Google AdWords to measure return on investment and finally, some of the common mistakes that um, advertisers do is not accepting Google's help. Google wants you to be successful, believe it or not, and they have a 1-800 number that you can call when starting a Google AdWords campaign that will allow you to uh, have them take a look at your account and ask you um, and help you build a campaign that will, will work. In addition, not choosing your keywords carefully can be a big mistake. Now, it's important not only to look at your website for those keywords, like we used Nike for those keywords, um, to find all those keywords, but it's also important to perhaps talk to your customer. Maybe football players aren't familiar with Nike's, the names of Nike shoes. Maybe there's common terms that football players use when looking for certain shoes. So it's important to not only uh, look at your website for keyword ideas, but also talk to your uh, customers. In addition, make sure you use all different match types. Don't only use broad match keywords because it can ye yield a lot of uh, bad clicks and irrelevant searches. And then again, create um, create a lot of campaigns and a lot of ad groups. Don't create just one or two. Create campaigns for the different products you have to offer, the di different product lines, locations, and make sure that you split your ad groups into small keyword lists. Now remember we started off with one list of keywords and we separated it into three different keyword lists because of the fact that if we created an ad, we wanted to make sure that we could talk about the Nike Force football, uh, Nike Vapor football um, cleats. Again, make sure that your keyword list and your ad groups are small. Uh, f no more than 5 to 10 keywords, 5 to 15, 5 to 10 keywords, somewhere in that. And then last but not least, make sure you use negative keywords. And remember, negative keywords are those keywords that you don't want to appear for. So, your homework for our next class, which is on December 2nd. Remember, we don't have class next uh, Wednesday evening because of Thanksgiving. But next class, which is uh, December 2nd, Wednesday, Wednesday, December 2nd, you have to do a digital ad assignment. So we discussed the Google AdWords pay-per-click advertising. Your assignment is to create a Google pay-per-click account for the 100th Bomb Group restaurant, and I gave you the website for it. Heck, if you want to create it for your own company, 
I know that uh, several of you work, uh, f- you know, there's there's somebody that works at Moen, there's somebody that works at Sebling Revelry Brewery. If you wanted to go ahead and create that for your own company, feel free. I'm just giving you the 100th Bomb Group in case you can't think of it. But this is what I want from you. Three campaigns centered around three different products or services. And within those three campaigns, each you have to have a list of keywords or three individual ad groups. So again, like our Nike football one, we have three individual ad groups within this campaign. So I want you to create three campaigns and three ad groups. And within those three ad groups, I want you to have 10, 10 keywords each three exact match keywords, three phrase match keywords, and three broad match keywords with one negative keyword. So a total of 30 keywords. And again, here's here's an example of my campaign right here. And then of course, I want you to create a text ad for each one of those uh, ad groups. So I will attach this example just for you guys and then uh, please make sure that you complete this and submit it by the second. If you have any questions feel free to reach out to me by email.